Hi travelers, I'm back and I was, I don't know, doing something and that reading, the open reading number eight that I just did, there was something about the reading, not that it didn't sit right with me or that seemed funny, but it was just something about the reading. And I remember saying to you, the, the angel answer card was meditation will bring the answer. And I said to you, well, trust what your intuition is telling you. And then I said, well, you know, it may look like it's the same situation, but it's really not. And I know you're like, what the hell is she talking about? Okay, so um, meditation brings the answer because we're being asked to discern between what our intuition is and what our ego is telling us. There is a huge difference, okay? But also that series of three cards that I pulled on that seven of cups, and the seven of cups and, and, and is this confusion and something being, um, we can say being deliberately hidden from us. Well, we also know that that's what eclipses do. Um, so I took the Indovenus and I, I did a quick nine card spread and the cards that came out, a sincere friend. Okay. The soldier. Contrary or displeasure, a city house, the protector, okay, faithfulness and affection, surprise. Wedding, and then a lot of money. Now, remember, I was also speaking to you about deadly serious agreements, um, about a shift in power, um, and making sure that you had the seat that you wanted when the change came. And right in the center, I have this protector, and he is equivalent to the king of wands, okay? And um, he's the focus of this. So what I'm picking up from these cards is that there may be um, a friend, a sincere friend, um, who may be telling you, if you have a decision to make, if this is about entering into any in any any type of contractual agreement, however that means, um, you know, don't do it. Be cautious. And they're not happy about the news that this is something that perhaps because we saw there was an important revelation, right? And so maybe someone is is trying to warn you against whatever it is you may be planning on doing. Or you're thinking about doing. In one respect, we can see the protector is facing this city, this city house. Um, it could be um, for one, he is a protector. There's a four of cups. He is a protector. Maybe in one respect, uh, he has uh, a lot of property. Um, in, in that regard, or he is someone who is rather stable, um, situated around a home life. Maybe he's someone who's uh, who really has a lot of emphasis or places a lot of value on family life and friends. And then we have on the backside of him, we have this quote unquote, this two of wands, which is called faithfulness and affection. Okay. The last row down, we can see, we see surprise, wedding, and a lot of money. <laughs> well, it kind of speaks for itself, does it not? But if this is not necessarily about a marriage, it could simply be being wedding yourself to something new. Now, one of the, we ended with a visit, I think, the last three cards I pulled. And I'm picking up a sincere friend, a city house, and a surprise. So maybe, um, this has to do with someone who has, you've gone to visit, someone has come to visit you, um, and there was some kind of surprise in that. Um, 
this person is a sincere friend. Um, here we have this soldier. We know that that could be, you know, being caught with law enforcement in the other Sibylla cards. But he represents in this deck, this soldier, he represents the King of Swords. And we know that this guy's a mastermind. So we have this King of Swords above this King of Wands, and then we have this wedding. So this could be about two male figures going into business with each other. We could, again, look at the wedding, not as an actual wedding. Uh, it could be actually two men getting married, but it could also be two uh, male energies going into business with one another. Remember what you wed yourself to. Marriages are can be anything, really, where there's a commitment to it. Um, some people could be married to their addictions. I mean, um, you know, some people are married to their jobs. Now, this line here, vertical column, contrary uh, and displeasure. Well, who is contrary and displeased by someone that is faithful and affectionate? Well, it's not really that they're, they're upset or displeased about the affectionate nature of this person. It reads to me more like worry over what the long-term benefits of that would be. Okay. Who doesn't want faithfulness and affection? Who doesn't want that? That's why sometimes we get pets. Because <laughs> we don't trust people to give us faithfulness and affection. Um, now, what? I, this faithfulness is contrary to this displeasure card here along with the protector and the surprise. This, this is the, the kind of that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Maybe someone um, doesn't want someone. Uh, it, it kind of reads like uh, they're displeased with whatever this revelation this thing is they're just they're just someone is displeased about it this way and they're actually surprised maybe they are surprised by the displeasure that other people are displaying okay maybe that's what that's saying the knighting this way we have a sincere friend someone who's faithful and affectionate and 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 a surprise being in that this is the eight nine of cups here this is what this represents. So it's like the person gets exactly what they want. But again, there's some other influences going on around here. Then I have this, displeasure, this, the city house and a lot of money. Um, this represents the nine of swords. So again, it kind of harkens back to me that there's some type of um, conflict over money and property. That's really the only thing that I can come up with that would make any sense. There could be a thousand other things, but I think what is the most important thing that I see here is this row here. So even though this person may be, I think this card represents two separate people. Okay. On the one hand, it represents someone who really has your best interest at heart. It could be someone that you have that indeed you want to join forces with but also that there's somebody else and perhaps two other people um, who are expressing their displeasure and what it is that you choose to do they're asking you to uh, either not do it or to be cautious about it or to dot all your I's and cross all your T's um, remember it goes back to power and control but this line the sincere friend, the protector, and then a lot of money. Now, in just looking at this, this represents a queen of wands, a king of wands, and the ace of wands, okay? Now, whether or not these individuals are of fire sign elements, the underlying message is that if this is a couple, if this is someone new, if this is someone that you're thinking about joining forces with, um... There is a lot of abundance in this union, no matter whether it's a, uh, an actual wedding wedding or if it is the wedding of two people coming together, let's say to make a business or to get into some kind of project or something of that nature. Now, I 
I, I do feel that for some, the person is going to bow out. And the reason why I say that is because not only does this card represent a wedding, but it also represents the five of cups. And so this king of swords, this militare, is not only a person, but it's also an energy. I don't think someone is going to, at present, this is the present, at present, they're not having it. But what remains, the overall energy of this, is this Six of Cups, the love card. See that? And remember, the first card down in the last spread was a what? It was a Six of Cups. So I think that uh, I will just say that this is a reset. This is a reset. And it could very well be that someone wants to marry and other people are not happy with that. And this could be, remember I was saying, do your homework. Why some, because it's, there's a surprise here and it does involve a lot of money. But I think it's because of the interaction between these two people, this sincere friend and this protector here. That's what I wanted to bring to you. Well, isn't that something? Isn't that something? I have the Nine of Swords here, and I have the Nine of Cups here, and in the center, someone trying to, I guess, do the right thing for all parties concerned. That's a lot of responsibility. Why? Because this is someone who has a lot of love uh, to give, but also needs a lot of love. And sometimes people want to steer you away from something that really is going to be good from you, not necessarily because they don't want you to have it. Um, that may be the reasoning behind it, but it's really because they themselves don't want to um, lose whatever benefits uh, they feel they have with you in that association or they don't want to they may think that they may end up losing you or that um, it could even be something financially based well if you do that you know you're not gonna be able to help us do this or um, and so again this is why I, I think that the the hermit card and the card of meditation brings the answer because you're being asked to discern do I do what these other people want me to do? Um, and since I don't want to disappoint them, um, that could be your ego. Maybe you get that gratification from knowing that so many people depend upon you. But when there's so many other people depend upon you, that leaves you little time for yourself. And so it could be that a situation is coming that's going to actually give you the time that you need for yourself. And guess what? If you can get that time that you need for yourself, that means you have more time and energy to devote to those things that you like to do. Remember I was talking about that flip side, that upside down um, interpretation of freedom. Um, so you need to really focus and concentrate on what your intuition is telling you versus what your ego is telling you. And that always, always when you act from love, you're always making the right choice. But now the question becomes, do I act for love based upon other people or do I finally act from the love of self? Because without love of self, you got nothing else to share with anybody else. Doesn't matter what it is. You can throw money at them, but <laughs> you know. Okay, that's what I have. I, ho I hope that helped. I don't know why I was prompted to bring these cards out again, but there you have it. So uh, until next time, namaste. Somebody do me a favor, come over and send me, leave me a comment. You can just say hi under the YouTube comment section. 
so I can see if the stinking website is working. I, I don't know. It's we're coming up awfully close on that Mercury retrograde. I would appreciate it. So until next time, namaste.